Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're in Segovia, Spain, just a little bit outside of Madrid. And today what we have for you are the three kind of my best favorite day trips from Madrid. And the first one I have is here in Segovia. Segovia is a little town, 55,000 people, about an hour and a half bus ride away, half hour train ride away, but the train takes you farther away than this, so you gotta take a bus into here, but whatever. Anyway, um, there's three towns I do recommend people going to. Here in Segovia, Toledo, the, the kind of Catholic capital of Spain, and El Escorial, where there's the royal palace that's out there. Now, here in Segovia, what you have is you have this Roman aqueduct. It's been here for about 2,000 years. It could actually still work. It doesn't work right now, but that's what they use to get water here. You have a really cool cathedral that was done in the Gothic style, which is kind of nice to check out. You can wander through the city, and one of the things to have here is the suckling pig. You'll see it because, like, what is that picture of that pig doing? That's kind of a traditional dish here as well. And also, in a lot of these towns, you'll see a lot of marzipan to eat when you are here. It's kind of the traditional candy because the Moors were here for a long time, and so they really did influence influence some of the some of the food like the marzipan uh, but probably the thing you see most aside from the aqueduct here in Segovia is the Alcazar the kind of fortress castle on the other side of the town and when you're inside of there that does have a museum and you can see all kinds of cool stuff of history for the area and for Castillo de Leon this, this region that we're in here and that's kind of cool and then you've got Toledo. Now Toledo, well I'm still here in actually Segovia, that's the Segovia Cathedral behind me. We're in the Plaza Mayor now. And the thing is, Toledo's a really cool place to go because it's, it was the capital of Spain for a long time, so there's a lot of history. It's also the seat of the Catholic Church in Spain, so it's had a lot of power for a long time. And it's got history from the Moors and the Jewish people that were here, the Catholics and all the, the Visigoths and all this stuff that were there. You have all this great mixture there and so much history when you are there. It's really cool just to walk around and go, wow, what all happened here? It is really, really cool. And some of the things you want to see there is uh, the cathedral is actually the most important part. I mean, think about it. It's the seat of the Catholic Church in Catholic Spain. So yes, the cathedral is pretty cool. So you definitely want to check that out. Go in, do the tour, see all those things. It is well worth it. Also, you can go to the Alcazar there. It doesn't look as cool as the Alcazar here, but the Alcazar there is an army museum you can go into. And there's a bunch of churches and museums around town that you can explore. And it is uh, relatively easy to, easy to kind of see the city. So that's one thing I do enjoy is just wandering around uh, the city and taking all those things in. And the thing is, Toledo's not that far. They have the fast train going out there now. So you get the, the fast train out to Toledo. It only takes like half an hour. If you take a bus at a significantly lower price, <laughs> if you take the bus out there versus the fast train, it can take an hour if you take the express, the kind of the express bus, or about an hour and a half if you take the slower bus with stops. So do make sure you check and see which bus you're getting to get out there uh, to make sure you get there as soon as possible. And then the third place you want to go to is El Escorial. El Escorial is going into the mountains and it's basically this huge palace for the, the Spanish kings. It doesn't look like a palace. I remember the first time I went there, I'm like, this doesn't look so special. It's just a big, huge square thing, you know? And the thing is, when you go inside and you see the royal palaces and the royal apartments and all those things, you really get that, wow, this is the Euro, you know, European monarch pomp and circumstance kind of thing. So it is pretty cool. And, and the thing is, just like everywhere, there's all kinds of great places to have tapas and restaurants and bars to eat out there. Um, there is a reason why Escaral is the third one on here, because Segovia and Toledo are both great, and you should go see them no matter what. El Escorial, I kind of put it as the, you know, if you've seen these other two and you want something else to do, that's the third one on there. It's still cool, but it's not as cool as Segovia or Toledo, okay? Anyway, I hope that helps you out. Oh, there's another town you can go see too, Avila. Avila is this walled-in city. I mean, we're talking huge, huge city walls that you can walk along the walls on the top and stuff like that. Go see the cathedral, wander through the old town. But I will say Avila in the winter can be really really cold that was the first time I was ever in Spain and I said oh my goodness I am super cold so Avila is another option that you can check out anyway if you want to learn more about visiting Madrid or Spain or Europe or China or the US or wherever check us out on our website at waltersworld.com we're also on Twitter Facebook Instagram YouTube and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions and if you do subscribe to us we put out two new travel videos every week from different parts of the world so one week we might have what to eat in Germany and then the next time we have you know 10 shocks of China and the next one is you know 10 words you should know in Croatian we have all kinds of stuff to help you travel better and we want to say thank you for watching and we thank you for supporting and we do hope you'll click that subscribe button and that like button. So, adios de Segovia. Bye from Segovia.